Hey, we have got the one and only Newton Faulkner in the house. Hey, oh. oh, thank you. <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm very well indeed. I'm having a good day, man. Oh, you look so much more awake than me. I'm not. <laughs> you're, co- you're covering <laughs> it really well. <laughs> so, why are you here today? Uh, I'm doing a gig. That's good. That's the main That's reason. handy. Yeah. I tend to not go anywhere where I'm not doing a gig. <laughs> to Whatever. be honest. Pretty much. <laughs> Well, you never go home. <laughs> I go home, but I have to do gigs there as well. <laughs> oh, dear. So, and what can we expect from you today? All kinds of stuff. I'm doing, obviously doing old stuff, because I'm not really mean. Yeah. Um, but I'm also doing new stuff as well. I've just got, yeah, i just finished an album, so I've got an album just coming out. Oh, uh, oh. Coming out very soon, which is called uh, Hit the Ground Running. Yep. Which I am unbelievably happy with. Especially with... Um, <laughs> Just the way it's going and coming across live yeah. is it's different in a really good way. Okay, I'm here with Mr. Popular himself, Newton Faulkner. Mr. Popular? Where well, did that happen? Well, look at you. <laughs> You're like a magnet for all these people. <laughs> I, I put on one song and everyone just floods to see you. It was very nice. That's very nice, isn't it? It is. It's very nice. <laughs> Are you always just chilled out? Yeah. Can I have some of that? Because I'm... I'm yeah. Oh, good. Do you like a massage? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, Mr. Faulkner. Yes. Um, we, let, can we talk a bit more about your um, new album, please? Yeah, of course we can. Um, yeah, it's coming out. So it's the first of September that it comes out, and it's it's kind of a it's kind of more old school than the last few. I think I needed to make the last two to work out how to make this one. Right. So I did one that had nothing on it. Then I did one that had way too much on it. <laughs> and now I found the sweet spot where it's. I think I've got I put just enough on it just enough and also vocally something has happened and I don't know what it is but I've gained like another octave and a bit nice. of vocals and like yeah like my whole my voice is just it's got considerably better really and it was partly through like loads of training I did ages ago and then I got really scientific in like rehearsals and then recently it's just kind of just does whatever I ask it to which has been amazing <laughs> Can I just talk to you about um, how you got to where you are? Yeah. I know no, not the bus, but um, you started at ACM, didn't you? Yeah, I, did. I went to ACM when I was 16. I was there I was there for two years. It was when Eric Roach was head of guitar, who yeah. had like, a ridiculously massive influence on my playing. Um, so he was, yeah, he was head of guitar. And then after that, I kind of went straight into gigging. Actually, my, I was most improved guitarist of the year the first year I was there. Second year, I actually did quite badly <laughs> in terms of like exams and yeah. stuff. But it's because I was making an EP and wow. I had, like, I, I was talking to labels. Like I was kind of already, I was already working. Yeah. So they didn't, they didn't really mind. Wow. It was like, you have really messed up all your exams, but you're also, like you've actually started a career. So we don't know what to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, is this, so this third album, what makes it that's just my sixth. Sorry, well, I don't know where this we got third from. Album, you're talking yeah. about three I've been around ten years now. Really? I yeah. Thought it was longer than that. That is. You thought it was longer? Yeah. How I remember old when you do first, you think I am? No, I, I just remember when you first <laughs> came out. That's all. Because yeah. I've been talking about you a lot over my span of radio and stuff like that. Yeah. You see, played oh. a lot of your music and stuff. So yeah. First cool. album's tenth anniversary was last year. Actually, we did. We made this beautiful video um, where we. I played the whole of the first album just yeah. in my house. Mm-hmm. Um, acoustically and on piano and yeah the guys that filmed it just they did such a good job it looks amazing and it's the engineer that I, I use for all, all the stuff I record anyway yeah it was kind of recorded in my own studio but it's up on Facebook and it's I'm really proud of it it's that we did it in one day wow which is mental it's like making I mean the album has 17 tracks on it wow um, okay we did all of them so it's it was like making 17 music videos <laughs> In one day. We started at nine and finished at midnight. Wow. Um, so festival-wise, is this your last one for this year, or are you going to be... No, I've got another one tomorrow. <laughs> Where's that? <laughs> That's Boomtown tomorrow. Oh, fantastic. And then, yeah, keep it out, because there's other things that I'm doing down here which I can't talk about yet. Oh, the secret, secret squirrel. The secret things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Someone else is chatting to us yeah. now. Right, um, your favourite music festival you've been to as a punter? Obviously, oh, so cut, let's ignore Boardmasters, though. I have been to so few as a part. In fact, the only festival I've been to, 
Actually, there's two. I went to Reading when I was a kid. And then I went to Secret Garden Party with my brother and all of his friends. <laughs> they were very different experiences. Do, as a, as a, an artist round here, um, do you find the festival experience different as a punter? Obviously, you're going to be backstage a lot. Are you going to miss some of the magic by not walking around? Or do, well, you, do you do that? Yeah, I'm kind of... I'm not on holiday. I'm here to work. And I'm pretty focused. So before I'm... Before I go on, like I, I do quite a lot of skipping and like cardio stuff, <laughs> just to open up my lungs because I, I work, I work myself really hard, especially vocally and like it's a very physical set. Yeah. So I have to, I have to do like stretches. I have to stretch out my shins. It's like being a drummer, I guess. It's because your whole, my whole body's involved. So you yeah. kind of have to, you have to make sure it's going to work <laughs> well Newton thank you much I know you're extremely busy um, can you just remind everyone what time you're on the main stage today I'm on at 5.10 10 minutes past 5 on the main stage and how long is your set uh, I think it's about 45 40 wow. minutes I'm going to see if I can sneak off and I'm sure someone can cover don't me don't tell them you get fired <laughs> <laughs> Newton thank you very much <laughs> cheers Newton Faulkner everyone thanks guys thank nice. you very much sir oh, appreciate sorry, it pleasure.